Hi, welcome or welcome back to the Bobtail Help Desk. My name is Caroline and my goal for this channel is to help your trucking business thrive. If that sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe below so that you never miss another trucking business video. Today I want to talk about fuel taxes, or more specifically, IFTA, the International Fuel Tax Agreement. I'm going to explain what IFTA is, how IFTA taxes are calculated, and how to do your quarterly tax filings. Of course, whenever we talk about stuff like this, I have to include a disclaimer that this video is not a substitute for legal or tax advice. If you're still not sure about how you should be filing your IFTA taxes, please reach out to a trusted professional. The International Fuel Tax Agreement is a shared policy between the 48 continental United States and some Canadian provinces and is meant to help streamline the payment of fuel taxes. It allows motor carriers to be registered and file in one state or province and then have their tax money distributed to other states and provinces based on where they drove and where they bought fuel. Under IFTA, interstate carriers are required to have a license and file quarterly tax filings. Before IFTA was in place, motor carriers actually had to get permits from each state and territory where they operated. You can imagine the paperwork. To register your vehicles and get your IFTA license and decals, you'll need to contact your state Department of Transportation or Department of Motor Vehicles. They will have an IFTA office or department that will be able to help you get your license. The easiest way to go about this is just to search in Google IFTA and your state, and you should be able to find the right paperwork that you need to get started. While there are some exceptions to the rule, the vast majority of your fuel taxes can be paid through your IFTA quarterly filings. So how are IFTA taxes calculated? IFTA taxes can be kind of tricky to understand at first because each state has their own state fuel tax on diesel. While you do pay a fuel tax at the pump, your actual taxable rate depends not only on where you bought the fuel, but also where you used the fuel, i.e. where you drove. To figure out how your IFTA taxes will be calculated, you'll need three data points. The number of miles you drove in each state, the fuel tax rate in each of those states, and the number of gallons of fuel you bought in each state. This is so much easier if you just look at an example. So let's do that. Let's say you have a route from Detroit, Michigan to Cincinnati, Ohio and back three times a week. For the entire quarter, that means you're driving about 18,950 miles. And for simplicity's sake, let's say you always found the best fuel prices in Ohio at an average of $3.25 per gallon. And let's say you're getting seven miles to the gallon. Pretty good, right? That means you would spend $8,798.40 on 2,707.2 gallons of fuel. Remember that because you purchased all of your fuel in Ohio, you've actually paid the tax rate on that fuel for Ohio, but you operated partially in Michigan. Basically, you've overpaid Ohio for fuel tax and you've underpaid Michigan. So to calculate your IFTA taxes for the quarter, you're first going to need to figure out how much in tax you've already paid to Ohio. In this case, you've purchased 2,707.2 gallons of fuel at a tax rate of 47 cents per gallon in Ohio. So that means you've already paid $1,278.38 on state fuel tax. Remember this number, this will come up again. Next, of the 18,950 miles that you drove, you drove 3,600 of them in Michigan. At an average of seven miles per gallon, that means you consumed approximately 514.3 gallons of fuel in Michigan and 2,192.9 gallons in Ohio. I promise we're getting to the end really soon, just stick with me. So now it's time to find the amount that we should pay to each state in fuel taxes. So 2,192.9 gallons consumed in Ohio at a 47 cent tax rate would yield $1,030.66. 514.3 gallons consumed in Michigan times their tax rate of 55.4 cents per gallon would yield $284.92 in state fuel tax. 
adding those two together and you get $1,315.58. But don't forget, you've already paid $1,272 in fuel tax to Ohio. When your quarterly tax filing comes due, you'll pay the difference, $43.20. You'll pay that to the state where your IFTA license is registered, and they'll distribute the money to the states that are owed. I know that sounds like a whole lot of math, and it is. The good news is that your state very likely already has an automated system that will calculate it for you. But it is important to understand where these calculations come from so that you can make educated decisions about where to fuel. Operationally, you will need to keep track of where you bought your fuel and how many miles you drive in each state. I'll leave a link in the description below of a list where you can see the state fuel tax rate everywhere you drive. So how do you file your quarterly IFTA taxes? This process, much like getting your IFTA license, is run by the state. So the details on how to file will vary from state to state. But again, you largely need the same information. The total number of miles that you drove in each state and how many gallons of fuel you bought in each state. The first you should easily be able to get from your ELD. I'll leave a link in the description below to the best company for buying your ELD or other technology for your cab. To keep track of the total number of gallons you purchased in each state, you should be able to review all of the receipts from everywhere that you fueled. Sometimes you can get this in reports from a fuel card as well. If you prepay in cash for your fuel, you're always going to want to go back into the station or truck stop to get your receipt after you've fueled. This will show you how many gallons of fuel that you purchased. If you have more than one truck in your fleet, you only need to do one filing per quarter that includes all of your trucks. Filing quarterly means four times a year. And if the quarterly tax filings are due, by the end of the first month after the quarter. That means in April, in July, in October, and in January. All right, we're gonna close out with a little bonus material. I'm gonna show you how you can calculate the cheapest fuel on your route. Again, this is a lot easier if we have an example to work with. So let's go back to our Detroit-Cincinnati route. Let's say you see that in Toledo, diesel is $3.15 a gallon, and in Detroit, it's $3.20. You might think that you're getting a much better deal driving down to Toledo and fueling there, but it's actually the other way around. Remember that Michigan's fuel tax rate is actually eight cents higher than Ohio's. Discounting the state fuel tax, the diesel in Toledo actually costs $2.68, and in Michigan, it costs about $2.65. So on your trip from Detroit to Cincinnati, it actually makes more sense to fuel up in Detroit, knowing that you'll get some of that money back as a credit on your next quarterly tax filing. So there you have it. That's what you need to know about IFTA, how to get your license, how to calculate your IFTA quarterly taxes, how to file, and how to get the best rate on fuel. If you found this video useful, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more trucking business how-tos. We'll see you next time on the Bobtail Help Desk.